Who am I? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If somebody told you this was a generic playthrough, if somebody told you I was just your average ordinary YouTuber replaying the game in the advanced suit, somebody lied. Anyways, what is good everybody? It's your boy Ronnie Pugs back again with another Spider-Man PS4 playthrough, one that I cannot believe I'm here making today. Welcome to the Raimi edition replay of Spider-Man PS4, the series where I replay the entirety of Spider-Man PS4 on ultimate difficulty using the Raimi suit. And as you can see right here, this this one right here was my first ever playthrough of the game when I first got the game and everything. This one has all of my DLC suits unlocked, but the good thing about this is the Raimi suit was not included in the DLC. It was a free update, so we can restart any file without having to play the DLC over again. This one right here was... This one was my one that I was waiting for New Game Plus on it. Right here is the MCU Edition replay of Spider-Man PS4, but we will be creating a New Game Plus off of my 100% save file just because so. Right here, we're gonna be looking at this one. Can I change the difficulty? Let me see. Okay, there we go. Because I wanted to play this on Ultimate for you guys because that's the only trophy that I'm missing for y'all is the Ultimate difficulty. Okay, we will have subtitles on just so you guys can hear. And let's do this, you guys. So. It might be a little bit different at the beginning, I just smacked my mic, but it might be a little bit different at the beginning for you guys because just like my MCU edition replay, we will be starting the game out in a different suit than the Raimi suit. And this is because I want to replicate it to the Raimi films as much as we can. And I also want to replicate this as Spider-Man the movie game since that was the first ever playthrough on this channel. And the closest suit that we have that we can do that with is the wrestling suit so this episode we will be starting out in the wrestling suit and as you guys know we probably will be getting into the Raimi suit by the time you know Doc Ock makes him the suit and everything except they cut out the cutscene in this but I am excited for this and in about a minute I'm gonna have to mute the audio because I got a copyright claim for whatever record label owns the song in this which is pretty crazy but so whenever we swing out the window I'm sadly gonna have to mute, mute the audio for a second but let's go ahead and watch this cutscene one of my favorite cutscenes in any Spider-Man game Oh, Norman Osborn with the green darts. That's pretty interesting. Energy bar. Hey, look what it is. That's not the suit we're wearing, but whatever. You know, the one thing about New Game Plus that I was hoping for is that it was taking so long because they wanted to put every other suit, like every suit possibility in the cutscenes. Like, for instance, so when you start out in this and then swing out the window using a different suit, it would have whatever possibility there is for the cutscene. Oh, Ronnie Pug suit fabric ballistic? <laughs> nah, that's that's a. Uh, who is RP in this? I completely forgot. Fisk. And right here is where the audio is gonna have to go quiet for a second, you guys, just because I don't want to get another claim. <laughs> See, the thing about this is, is that wouldn't the webbing be stuck on that toast? <laughs> oh, there we go, you guys. The classic suit. There you go. That's the Raimi suit, y'all. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. You guys, really, um, looking at the Raimi suit in this game, since if you press down on the Raimi suit, it goes straight up to the classic suit, you can see there is a very, very key difference in the suit. It's that everything on there. There we go, you guys. The human spider in this universe, because why not? Woo! But you guys can see there is a clear distinction between those suits, especially since um the Into the Spider-Verse suit is right next to it, so you guys can uh, R2 to swing. We still have this on for some reason. I wonder if I could take this off. I'm not too sure about that, but I think by the time we get the Times Square, I can put the audio back on, and I don't think that helicopter actually hurts you. No, it doesn't. I should have been dead right there. Funny thing too, you guys, if you play a uh, Search for Justice and... Spider-Man the movie game, which in my opinion is still the most iconic level of any Spider-Man game. If you actually go near those helicopters, you will die from them. So we should be going to, to Times Square right here. I'm pretty sure this is the path. We don't have uh, the mini-map on or anything, which is crazy considering it's New Game Plus. But, you know, my hope with New Game Plus is that we were... It was taking so long so Insomniac could edit, like, any possible suit outcomes for, uh... 
the first cutscene and as long as as well as the last cutscene, you know, where he's crafting the suit. But no, we're sadly stuck in the anti ox suit, which kind of makes sense now since we're going to be replaying the game in the Raimi suit because it does have the Raimi lenses. Well, basically the Raimi lenses. So I guess it kind of makes sense, but it messed me up though because last whole playthrough I was planning on starting out in the homemade suit like we're using the uh, bootleg human spider right now and then I was going to move into the Stark suit and then I was going to end the series with him crafting the iron spider but sadly I had to throw the iron spider on at uh okay let's set the audio right here seven it's around where I had it all right there we go that should be good but anyways guys like I was saying, like, I wanted to craft the Iron Spider as the final suit, but sadly you can't do that because you're locked in the anti hawk Which, you know, Insomnia could update that. They're doing everything else with the game. They're obviously listening to us, adding the Raimi suit and everything like that. So, why not put that update in the game? It can't be that hard to... I wouldn't even care if he crafts the anti hawk in the cutscene. It's just weird to me. I will say this is one of the most iconic levels in Spider-Man games now. Woo! The human spider, you guys. Or I guess like the ultimate human spider since uh... Since this is basically a diversion of the ultimate wrestling suit, which... You know that poster that uh, he has hanging up in his room? It looks like the mask is white and also the lenses look pretty different so... I wonder if they just changed it up like last minute that way uh... That way it resembles the Ultimate Comics a bit more. I'm not too sure about that, but I would have preferred the one we got on the poster. This one's alright. It's not one of my favorite suits in the game, but it's definitely one I'd use opposed to something like Cyborg, Spider-Man, or uh, the Undy suit. So we know how to do this already. I didn't charge my controller before this, so hopefully I don't gotta change my whole setup just to plug in my USB. There we go. Hey, it's Yuri. Who has a great arc in Silver Lining, you guys. I won't spoil it in case you guys haven't played Silver Lining, but man, that was crazy. You guys know what I'm talking about that I played it. Woo! It does feel good doing series like this again, you guys, because I was streaming the MCU Replay Edition where the quality wasn't as good as this, but the good thing about streaming is that it's a direct upload. I don't have to do anything myself. This is going to take like two and a half hours to upload at my house. And I'm pretty sure that's the suit mod where, uh... I'm pretty sure that's the suit Yuri, mod where, uh, you know, you do air attacks and then the electric, the electricity comes off you, which helped tremendously during the Sable Hammerhead thugs in Silver Lining. Honestly, the, I was playing on Amazing, you guys. Honestly, those thugs and the brutes with the chain guns and the Sable armor, that was the hardest enemies I've ever had to fight in this. I died so many times on, like, random crimes and, uh, you know, doing the bases and everything, but it was worth it getting that into the Spider-Verse suit because that looks amazing in game, and it is a more classic suit than the Raimi suit, but after seeing that movie, I'm so happy that we get to play as that Peter Parker. Hey, look who it is. Do your thing. Yes. Woo! He's the day, Willie. It would be pretty cool if we could do like some QTEs right here. Which I do feel some QTEs got cut from the game, if that makes any sense to you guys. There we go. Let's see how fast we can do this level. I don't know, it might be different because it's on ultimate difficulty. Okay, build focus. We already know about this. Thank you for slowing the series down. Wait, and speaking of slowing the series down, let me check really quick. Skip puzzles. Is this on or off? Huh. Accessibility. Big subtitles. Okay, it's on. Because I remember during the MCU replay, you guys didn't want me to do the puzzles, which I'm alright with them, but it does slow the game down. So I guess that's okay. Woo! I will say, if I ever go back replaying any of the old Spider-Man games that I didn't play during the Road to Spider-Man PS4 series, it's going to be hard getting used to the controls again because this game completely changed the controls up for Spider-Man. I mean, we got L1 to shoot webs, which is usually triangle or circle, but man, it's that's weird. 
at least square is still the attack button and the next is to jump. Also the sprint's different from uh, Spider-Man 2. I think Spider-Man 2, no, Spider-Man 2 was like, I think you did hold down L2. Woo! This electricity is weird. I actually didn't think it would uh, it'd be going off this much. Hey, there we go. This ultimate difficulty is not that bad so far, and I guarantee me saying that I'm about to get hit with like the most difficult thing in the game now, but I know a couple people have played it on ultimate difficulty. I need the trophy for completing on ultimate difficulty. I'm 94% in the trophies. I was 100% before, which I got the platinum avatar on PlayStation if you guys have me as a friend. And, uh, you know, I don't have 100% now thanks to the updates, but I think that's the only trophy I'm missing. I'm not too sure. Uh, there might be some challenge trophies up there. Maybe it's the screwball, screwball missions. I'm not too sure. But then again, like, who wants to replay the screwball missions? Like, come on, which... <laughs> The silver lining levels with her, they were actually not as bad as I thought they'd be, and uh, I did like the ending to her whole arc. Again, I won't spoil it because the DLC came out like two days ago, and you guys might not have beaten it yet. L. And I don't know if it's going to be on this, but for some reason I have a glitch when I load this game up where I have a black screen, or like a tiny black box around my game, which wasn't there before. But for some reason it's on here now, which is odd to me. And I have adjusted my screen resolution like so many times and it's still on there, which sucks because when I take pictures in photo mode, I have to manually crop out that black border, which sucks. And also, it doesn't fill the screen up on YouTube, which makes it look kind of unprofessional, but I mean, it's okay. When I replayed uh, the Spider-Man games on the PS2, there was a bigger black, black box around the... Uh, around the, the screen, so I guess it's not that bad. See, I don't have an editing program where I can uh, just crop the video, zoom in, because what I'm using right now can't do that, but I'm hoping to buy an editing program soon, which I already know the one that I want to buy, thanks to uh, Joseph Woody telling me which one to get, and I did the trial version of it. It's actually a pretty, it's pretty easy, because I downloaded the trial version of Vegas. That was, ah, I did not know what I was doing at all on that, but this one I'm trying to buy, it's pretty easy. It's kind of like the one I'm using now, so hopefully when I buy that one, I can start delivering more higher quality videos to you guys. Okay, that was odd. You know, this electricity is messing me up, I swear to you. But hey, the human spider never rests, you guys. No, he got my suit wrong. Regret your life choices yet? And I was thinking about, you know, just starting this game in the Raimi suit, but, uh, ah, I just think it'd be better if we built it up to the moment, which I gotta remind myself to switch before we go into Otto Octavius's lab, because last time I did that, I completely messed up the Stark suit reveal, so hopefully I can get it right with this one. Woo! But overall, you guys, like, the Raimi suit in this game, oh man. It, there's certain parts where it looks like the movie. I took a, a screenshot of one of the suits with uh, one of the suits with a you know a shot of the suit with Silver Sable, and it really looks straight out of the Times Square scene from Spider-Man 2002. And I definitely gotta like do a side-by-side -side image of that once I get the time, which I'll probably throw up on my Instagram. There we go. Like my own private ventures. It's <laughs> so like I am playing uh, the human spider in Spider-Man the movie game, crawling through the vents in uh, the second and third levels. They're so cute when they're oblivious. So long, freak. <laughs> oh man, those those first three levels are iconic. I remember back in the day too. If you got like the bonus DVD for Spider-Man 2002, they let you uh, ooh, they let you uh. They did like a walkthrough basically of the first three levels. I don't know if there was a demo attached to it, but I do remember, you know, the tips and tricks and everything. And actually, I learned, I went back and rewatched that like recently. I learned something that depending on which crates you smash during the warehouse levels, there's like secret spider health tokens in there and everything. You guys forgot the latest kernel patch. Hiding so. Is the guy frantically erasing you know what I really like about this suit is that the lenses look crafted like an actual cosplayer would because I haven't made a suit like this myself but I know there's people that use like some white mesh for the eyes along with like some fabric for the lenses and it definitely looks like that 
see you guys can see the little small holes that people use for the suit basically that's what I'm talking about oh perform a uh, hair launch okay so I guess it's not gonna let me do that look around oh okay so there's the ultimate difficulty well there was that time I took down a pompous overstuffed crime load before breakfast look I'm gonna show you guys this this is the best way to clear something when you don't have your suit powers best way to clear out enemies they stick to the wall and everything doing this Long, tough road, huh, I didn't even think Almost we hit him right there. You know, replaying this again, like this, this, uh, Get this whole like design for a level looks pretty interesting to me. Let me pull this down right here. I love doing stuff like that in this game. Woo! So I don't know how frequently I'm going to be able to upload this series, but I'm not going to start a series on the channel and not finish it for you guys. And actually. I was planning on doing a Detroit Become Human replay because that is one of my favorite games that I played this year. And, uh, oh, there's the electric strike. And, uh, you know, I had to delay it now because the Raimi suits in the game. And as much as, as much as I'd love to go back and replay Detroit, because I haven't played it since I beat it, and there's also the multiple outcomes in the game too, I have to replay this in the Raimi suit. There's like no, there's no denying it. Imagine if the Alex Ross suit was in the game. That is the one I want most besides the Raimi suit. So if anyone at Insomniac is watching this and y'all are still doing surprise drops for the suit, put the Alex Ross suit in the game. The man did your Game Informer cover and you used one of his other suits in the game. So put the OG in the game. Alright everybody, stay calm. So I guess this scene works with the wrestling costume because he did wear the homemade suit in Spider-Man Homecoming for this, so it's about as homemade as you can get without using the MCU suit. Come on, Spider-Man. Come on, Spider-Man. The thing about this, too, if we're playing as Toby Spider-Man, you know he's hearing Uncle Ben, which that is the issue with um in the MCU saying, oh, why is he thinking of Tony Stark during the scene? And honestly, if it was me that edited the film together... I would have used Peter's speech from Civil War, where he's like, if you can do the things I can and you don't, then the bad things happen, they happen because of you. Because we don't have Uncle Ben in the MCU yet. I'm pretty sure he exists. There's no way in hell he doesn't exist in the MCU. So, um, I would have used Peter's speech from Civil War, because that basically is him saying, with great power comes great responsibility. I don't remember this part for some reason. And no one to chase him if he flies away. Why do I get the feeling that's what he was planning all along? Because he probably was. Damn. <sighs> Come on, you guys, you got all the vests done, and I'm out here. We're trying. Uh oh. These guys were a pain during the uh Oh, I wanted to hit him, but these guys were a pain during the hammerhead bases in uh in Silver Lining, man. I never want to replay those bases again, I'm sorry. Woo! Okay, so don't even hit him, Spider Man. Close enough. But I am probably going to replay Detroit Become Human after this, you guys. I'll see how uh, the schedule's looking when school rolls around, because luckily I'm on Christmas break right now, so Insomniac, you dropped the rain suit at a perfect time. <laughs> but I know I already replayed Spider Man on the channel, which this is going to be my final playthrough of the game again. I'm not going to replay the series again for y'all, but I was contemplating this before. Do I want to replay the entire series on Ultimate Difficulty? Because. I don't have that trophy yet, and of course you gotta get all the trophies for this game, but originally I was planning on doing a 2099 replay where right now I would have been in the classic 2099 suit and then we would have eventually switched into the all new, all different version. There we go. Okay, room is clear. The bomb squad must be somewhere ahead. Hope they're okay. Hey, the bomb squad. Hey, look who it is. You guys alright? We were just about to call for backup. Man, Spider-Man's got a turtleneck on. I just realized that. We'll be right behind you. Heads up, boss. Enemy UAV spotted. Woo! Not too bad. I hate the shields though. But I know a guy with a way cooler shield. So is that what they want me to do with the shield? Because I've just been rolling under them. Oh, I can't clear the room. Uh, I'm gonna use trip mines against them or not. Is it really not gonna trip him up? Okay, it did. 
I want to get through this as quick as possible because I was, it's going to take forever for this episode to upload. So, at the point where we get to the Raimi suit, hey, that's when we're going to stop like it at. Your guys were on Fisk's payroll. Good news is they were Willie's last line of defense. Huh? Daredevil right season three, office. anyone? Take him down now. With kick pleasure. the door down, Spider-Man. Come on. I wonder how hard this boss fight's going to be now that we're playing on ultimate difficulty. Hey, it's the Into the Spider-Verse Fisk. Who I loved in that movie too, you guys. I'm not going to spoil it again, but his whole Ready motivation for doing what he does, amazing. Between spider and man. I really didn't think they would do something like that. I'm glad it wasn't just in a generic, oh, we got to get rid of Spider-Man. And it really reminded me of the Daredevil Wilson Fist too. But your foolishness ends now. Uh, you do know I can still see you, right? The mask kind of looks like Deadpool. Don't you guys think? Oh, for me? You shouldn't have. <laughs> Gotta wait for nothing. Are we supposed to web him first? Yeah, we are. Oh man. There we go. Not too bad. And we're straight into the fight. Cool. How is this happening? What's wrong, Willie? You see Hey, remember that Raimi suit I did you guys with his hands up? Oh, look how far we've come. <laughs> a few days before the actual suit came out, there was a really nice edit where he was on the wall during the scene and uh it almost looks like the actual thing in the game. That's how good it was. And also that same artist did a uh a future foundation edit, which I never, I didn't really care if that suit was in the game, but after seeing that edit, we definitely need that suit in the game if Insomniac's willing to drop more surprise suits for us, because that thing looks so great. And sadly, in the Tasm games, we got a black version of it for some reason, and the white version just looks so much better. Huh? I was gonna say the same to you. You know what to do, man. <laughs> So, let me switch the suit power, maybe, for this scene. Um, Unrelenting Fury, there we go. That's going to work out a uh, good versus Wilson Fisk. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, uh, I don't have any web bombs. Great. So now i got to take these guys out. Man. Woo! The electricity coming off him is really weird. And I never really used that uh, suit power before. Uh, I never really... Okay, I'm trying to strike him. Come on. But I never really used that suit mod before uh, playing the Silver Lining DLC. Oh, reinforcement like the episode uh, The Real Super Sam and I just reviewed? Go check that out if you guys haven't seen it. That's my uh, holiday special to you guys. The Real Super Sam and I did a review on it. One of my good friends from this channel that I've known since before 100 subscribers. And definitely go check out his stuff too because he makes great content. Okay, my suit power is ready. Awesome. There we go. Ah, oh, we wasted it, basically. <laughs> you guys all know what's about to happen right there. I completely forgot about these QTEs. Wait, is this the end of the fight already? I don't remember it being this short. Huh. I guess it is! You know, I don't remember this fight being this short. That's crazy. Oh, those web shooters are great. So, should we kiss now? I was never really a fan of Spider-Man wearing the web shooters under the costume because it doesn't make sense because if he has to reload then he's got to take the entire glove off, but if it's like that, that's okay because he could just roll the sleeve up real quick and it also looks like, uh, you know, the sleeves were a little bit shorter on the web shooters, so I guess it makes sense. Oh, I never noticed he has that uh, fake New York Rangers hoodie on. Which is odd to me in this game, which I think that sports team in here, you guys see the uh, you guys see the hockey jerseys everybody's wearing in the city? They're stylized as the New York Rangers jerseys. But when you go to the special ticket during the uh, in one of the backpacks, it says it's for men's basketball, so I'm assuming it's a college. One month! In one month you wish you had me back! 
Yeah, you're kind of right about that. Woohoo! The kingpin is heading. So let's see how quick this goes. End of an era. I feel like I should celebrate. I guess so. Maybe take a vacation. Pizza time. Pizza time celebration? Why not? Go to work. Woohoo! Parker, where are you? The committee will be here soon. We need to run an equipment check. I'm almost there. Blocks away. The city just seems like so uh, new doing this for some reason. I don't get it. It's, it's the same feeling I have playing Spider-Man 2 when uh It's the same feeling I get playing Spider-Man 2 when you first like learning the ropes. Like I've been in the city for hours on this game, but for some reason it just seems so new playing this. I don't know why. Like, it looks cleaner for some reason. Maybe it's because the HUD's off, but... I don't know. Something about this just seems like, you know, it's brand new. Like, I'm playing this for the first time, basically. Except my swinging is a lot better than the first time doing this, because it took me a while to get used to the swinging. Oh, man. I hope he doesn't mind my uh, wrestling costume. I'm sorry I'm late. Oh. Sorry I'm late. I had to beat an old lady with a stick. <laughs> this is definitely my favorite incarnation of Doc Ock. This beats Alfred Molina's version, and as hard as that is for me to say, it does. It's fine, Parker. I like, I feel for this Doc Ock more. Handle. I get it. Power damper. Um, maybe we should abort. Not yet. What are you doing? Pulling the plug. No. Hold on. That stop button is new. Dr. Artavis, are you okay? <coughs> Another setback. <coughs> but we're close. But we'll keep trying. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next <laughs> phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But well, oh, awesome. Later. I'm coming to work for five minutes. Thanks, Doc. I'm still getting paid for the whole day, right? That was a disaster. How could the dampener Check affect? the prosthetic arm. Oh, you are in bad shape, little guy. See, it is pretty cool seeing this in-game because it gets to show, like, the life of Peter Parker and everything, which people were dying for some Peter Parker free roam, but in all honesty, this does slow the game down. But still, like, out of every Peter Parker gameplay we've had in past Spider-Man games, this this is the best. It's miles ahead of Tasm, too, where you just ran around as someone that didn't even look like Andrew Garfield and, uh, and <laughs> just did whatever. Okay, need to... Nice. Okay, what next? Awesome. I already got the trophy for bu Puzzle, so no point in even doing these. Look at that, you guys. That's what happens when you uh, you cheat. <laughs> you get done with everything in a second. Let's see if that worked. Woohoo! Good as new. Hey, look at this. I can block everybody's shot now. Doc's been testing awesome. new materials for the prosthetics. He asked me. To so I didn't know about time. this before, but uh. My good friend Darkseid Bill told me that, if, I think it was him that said it, but existence. if you look at uh, some of the whiteboards progressing through the game, you could see Doc Ock just become crazier and crazier. Like, um, what's this right here? Octavius Industries. So nothing too bad right now. I don't think 
Dr. Octavius's optimism has ever been shown. But apparently there's a part in the game where, uh... Doc was testing he goes up to the whiteboard and it's like prosthetic. blueprints for the raft, and then Peter's like, huh, what are you doing with this? And he's like, oh, I'm just designing a new security system. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. Better tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. I thought we were taking the day off. What are we doing here? All right. I there we get go. Out of here before I the only thing I don't like about this, I'd say, is the shoes. Other than that, it's an alright suit. I think they're like wrestler boots, but um, you know, if I'm Spider-Man, I'm using like running shoes because I've seen fan art where people make like uh their own homemade suits for Spider-Man, and they always give them like chucks and stuff, and that doesn't make sense to me. Like, if you're Spider-Man, why would you not wear like a pair of running shoes or something? I mean, I guess it's all right with Miles, because into the Spider-Verse he wears the Jordan ones, which people don't really, you know, people don't hoop in Jordans for real, but uh. Especially ones, but like I guess they make sense because they're a basketball shoe still. But I say more people wearing for casual wear, which I took a fat L, you guys, trying to get those shoes. I didn't really need them to be honest because, oh man, they they weren't they didn't look that good to me. You know they're just the Chicago ones, but they added that comic book like texture on them. I forgot what the those dots were called, but um. It just made him look so weird, but then I saw um, they were releasing them, and at some press event, they had a Spider-Verse box for them, but if you bought them in store, they would have had a regular Jordan box, which sucks, so in a way, I'm kind of glad I didn't get them, and honestly, like, I'd rather have like a, a legitimate pair of Chicago ones, aside from, you know, the Spider-Verse pair, so uh, it's alright, I guess. I didn't really need them. I got to save my money. Alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the call. Speak. Okay, it's not for nothing. You gotta give Spider-Man re- Here we go. Thirty-one minutes on this, not too bad. Our girl Yuri. You quit smoking. What do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh, no uh balls, maybe anyway. in the sequel? We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Until an hour ago. When the system went down. You know, even if I showed up in the negative suit or the uh, the noir suit, she'd still say that, which it doesn't make sense to me that people say like, oh, Peter can't have the Miles into the Spider-Verse suit because that's Miles' suit. And I'm sitting here like, well, nobody cares. Like, the, it doesn't make sense. If I showed up in the underwear suit, she wouldn't say anything about it. That's the thing. The civilians don't care what you're wearing. I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Woohoo. So let's do this, which is about the most generic thing too. Although, you know, I like doing the towers. This is definitely the puzzles that I don't care if I have to do them. Although some of them could be a pain. But it still kind of sucks that we redid the entire New Game Plus and we got to unlock the whole map again, which I'm probably going to do off camera for you guys. Just like what I did with the uh, the MCU replay. That way we have a map. I'm seeing all crime data in the area now. Looks like there's a break-in happening near me. Great. I've got units nearby. Woo! Don't bother. I'm on it. Let me switch my suit power. Oh, I can't yet. Hey, it's the skulls. Do Not it. the skulls. It's, um... Looks like Shocker Stugs from Spider-Man the movie game. You aren't so tough. Oh, yeah. Watch my back. And, uh... He got, like, four other guys right there. Let me, uh... Switch the suit power to the most overpowered thing in the game. There we go. Come on, game. You already know this. There we go. And that's how you beat crimes in a matter of seconds. Man, the electricity is so weird in this. <laughs> Look at that, 616 parking. Thanks for that. Now I'm seeing an assault. I wonder what's around here that uh, they need six dollar parking. Tough but lovable grizzled seen too much detective is in town. What? No, 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 no. You promised you wouldn't do that any spider cop. No. 
So you're the snitch. Back off, creep. Yep, she's the one. I said back off! Leave me alone! Keep me quiet, lady. Just give me a chance. Get away from her. I didn't want a web strike, but uh, whatever. Oh, I only had one of those? That sucks. Should have put thrown resupply on. I was using resupply during the hammerhead fight. Walk away now, or she's dead. Let me go. Oh, you're so right. Um, you know, I'm Spider-Man. It's not like I can't do this. Whatever. Should have pulled his mask off right there, right? Huh. All clear, ma'am. I knew Jameson was wrong about you. You're a little weird, but you got a good heart. Have you got Thanks, lady. to go? I can take care of myself. I I'm sure you can, but just in case, there's a place called the Feast Center. Seen it. I don't want charity. They got the best wheat cakes in the city, hands down. Mom used to make those. <laughs> Haven't had any in a long time. I'll check it out. Thanks, Spider Guy. You're welcome. It's Spider Man. That one. No, he got my you name wrong. Spot the next tower from up there. Let's go. And again, too, you guys, it's like the city just seems like so new for some fish. reason. Playing this, I don't get it. Spies his destination. A second surveillance tower. Are you narrating yourself? What? No. You know, guys, I'm going to call this right now. Since they're doing surprise DLC costumes for the holidays, I'm predicting we get Spider-Cop 2019. Um, you know, don't sit here and think like I'm confirming anything, but I don't know. I'm just guessing we'll get it because that is like, I'd say behind the Raimi suit and the Sensational suit, that's probably the most requested suit in the game. And it's we've seen the design in Spider-Geddon. They got a whole design for it that looks like it's Score. rendered in game already. So if they're willing to do that, like put it down. in the game. Including one nearby. What is that? I will say I don't like the aviators and uh, the mustache on it though. It looks weird. I was thinking it should be like that picture that's floating around, where it's just Spider-Man in, in the cop uniform. I would have liked that more. Who knows? Maybe we could do a. Uh, why is this taking forever? We could do a Spider Cop. <laughs> oh, Spider Cop replay. One of my old backpacks from high school. I forgot I attached tracking dots to these. And Peter's like, what, in this 23? I wonder how many Tell me, nobody went up there. Me. There's 50 of them, Peter. Woohoo, first date menu. Still there? Got a robbery a few blocks away. Spider cops on it. Where's it at? Where's part it at? Man, part spider, all cop. Uh. Woo! Apparently they updated like his speech in this for some reason. That's what I've heard. I've I've heard no difference myself, but according to other people, they kind of changed the way he says Spider Cop and stuff. Hey fellas, oh! Spider Man, shoot him! Kind of sucks that we can't go into these stores, but oh well. That was easy. I don't even have to hit any of you guys. Oh, you got your friend out here. Never mind. If you work this hard at a legit job, you wouldn't need to be criminals. There we go. Not too bad. Oh, that completely glitched. All right, Yuri. I'm gonna repair the last Chinatown tower now. Don't you mean Spider Cop's gonna repair it? Been doing a little thinking, Yuri. See, she likes it. Young man's game. <laughs> Spider Cop. Well. He's no spring chicken. Please be going where I think you're going. As of today, Spider Cop is officially retired. Oh, thank God. It kind of doesn't right. make sense that we'll we get the underwear suit theory. at the end of the game. The if anything, we should have got Spider Cop for 100% because they made a whole running gag of that. And the underwear suit was just one second in the game. Awesome. Keeping the piece complete. I love that theme. One of the best Spider-Man themes out there. Not good. Can't have people taking pictures of my three chest hairs. Tools I need for suit repair at the last. See, look right there, you guys. It does not matter what suit you wear. So we could have gotten the black suit this game. Like saving it for story reasons is kind of BS. Like I understand. Uh, 
I understand, like, saving it for, uh, am I going the right way? Damn, it's all the way down here, right? I understand saving the Insomniac original design for next game, but like we could have gotten the classic black suit in this. But hey, we got the Remy suit. That's all we need, right? Should I head back to the lab for cleanup? No, no. I'm stepping out for dinner anyhow. We'll resume tomorrow. Short break, then back to creating the future. Woo, Rosie, our new friend, thinks we're gonna blow up the city. Sounds like he's left the lab. Good time to work on my suit in private. Yeah, I guess so, Peter. Which, that's another thing, too, you guys. Since Otto made the advanced suit, do you think uh, Peter's going to have a brand new suit in the game? I definitely think so. And let me get over here. Uh, just so we don't mess this up. Woohoo! Alright, let's, uh, let's see if we can work on anything now. I'm going to slide my card. I wonder if we're going to be able to go back here in the sequel, because if you guys know, in the uh, DLC, this place is completely boarded off by police and everything, so I wonder if there's a chance that we could be visiting this again. Oh, look at that. It's the... it looks exactly like the classic suit. Parker! Dr. Octavius! I, uh... what you got there? Chinese. If I know you Should have just, there, like, tackled him or something, Peter. What are you working on? Oh, just a side project. Of course. It's you. I, uh, I, I don't know what oh, you're come on, Parker, it's obvious. L -l let me explain. I only wish you'd tell me sooner. See, even if I was Peter I in the scene, to. I would have locked that door. But just I that to be sure. Out, my family might be in danger. Huh. Because we saw, yes. like, all those, uh, like, all those uh, other people were able to just walk into the building. Equipment, you're bound to be a target, too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't worry. Look at all that laundry in the corner. I never noticed that. And all those pizza boxes, too. Well, Doc Ock is a slob. But I guess all brilliant men are. Oh, don't even offer to give me uh, whatever you bought. Thanks. That should do it. Here we go, you guys. Oh, man. Now, this reveal with the Raimi suit, it reminds me a lot of Spider-Man 2002, where we got the first ever reveal of the suit with the crime montage and everything. This is the equivalent to that in the game. Man, look at that. Amazing. So much detail put into it, too. Like, like I told you guys, it looks just like the movie in some shots. It's crazy. Woo! Let's go! Aw oh, man, new suit, or old suit, but it feels like it's new, right? Oh man, this is great. There it is, you guys, the Raimi suit, so uh, let me get to a stopping point for this episode right here. I guess we can uh, land on the rooftop right here, but anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. DLC unlocked, the city that never sleeps. Oh, oh yeah, that is right. We uh, unlocked the DLC after unlocking the suits. But anyways, guys, we're going to end it right here. I don't know when I'm going to upload the second episode, but we got everything out of the way for the first episode. And now we are finally at the moment, the birth of a hero with the Raimi suit on. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for the episode. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe, follow my social medias, and I will see you guys again in the next episode.